All right, guys. Well, I just finished uh, having some zanape tacos. So my belly's full, feeling good. My beard's got sauce all in it, sauce and sour cream and cheese. It was like uh, wrestling with a Bigfoot trying to get all that stuff out of my beard afterwards. So uh, I'm going to hit three uh, spots in rapid succession here. Hopefully we can get all these done within like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So uh, here's the sign here. Our engine water works system. English and Spanish for you guys. These are the hours. Bank drafting is available, guys. They have many ways of taking your money. Just keep that in mind. Very convenient. Well, that was boring and uneventful, but I also didn't stick the camera in everyone's face. Um, I think the uh, I think eating lunch was a bad idea. I feel kind of lethargic right now. <laughs> I just asked my question, and she gave me a phone number to call. It's a genuine question. I don't know if anyone else owns a zero water filter, but uh, this zero water filter I bought it. They give you a little filter so you can test the total dissolved solids in the zero water filters water and in other water that you choose. So I like testing uh, bottled water and tap water in different places I go, restaurants where they serve me water, etc. Melted ice, just to see what's in it. And by the way, it doesn't, so, it doesn't test for, for environmental pure impurities such as bacteria and, and uh, virus and stuff like that. It tests for dissolved solids. And so in testing water, I found that like in Washington State, tap water comes out at a 28. So on the reader, it's 028, and that's, uh, you know, 28 parts per mil, uh, uh, 28, um, whatever the measurement is for dissolved solids, per, uh, parts per million. Uh, pretty low, pretty good water. Um, when you start seeing filtered water, it's like 13, 10. Anything lower than that is like really, really good. I was on a hike once, and I tested the water coming out of the side of this huge rock that was draining from the top of the mountain where the snow was, and it was three. So that was like pristine water that you could drink. I mean, it comes out of the zero water filter as zero. And they say when it gets to six, go ahead and change the filter. So this was a three coming out of the mountain. Well, it gives all these different examples of how long the filter is going to last um, based on the, uh, the levels of TDS in your water. And the absolute highest, highest, like off the charts in a dark, dark red color uh, with a warning sign is 401 plus. So if your water is 401 plus, you're only going to get like eight gallons of water from one filter. And this is a filter that normally lasts about a year or so. So that just shows to show you how bad 400 is. Well, the tap water down in this city is 845. Yeah, 845. Literally double the worst example that zero water could come up with. Double that is what this, this, the tap water is here. So I'm like, gosh, that's like toxic waste level, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, we're at City Hall now. So we're going to see if City Hall respects our right to film in public. I got myself kind of trapped in here. I'm trying to go to the other side and um, I came into the uh, wheelchair entrance. Whoops. I'm thin enough that I think I can slip through here. Yeah, I got this. Boom. Try to record this uh, plaque that tells me a little bit about the building when it was built. 1950 erected and uh, yeah cool JB Hughes Tony Butler I think there's a park named after him I think there's a Tony Butler park here if I'm not mistaken that just sounds familiar public notice how many people do you think keep track of this come to these meetings and um, you know and actually participate in their local government. 
It's like, I think after a while, it just becomes a joke to these people. They continue to post these up just on the off chance that someone's going to challenge them on what the law says that they're supposed to do for posting these. Um, so like, look at this one. Consideration of possible for proposal with Channel 5 for the Harnage and Downtown Image Merchant Spring 2020 campaign. And then here's the meeting at 3.30 on the 10th. That was yesterday. Um, I wonder who showed up to that meeting besides the city and KRGV 5 News. Was there, were there any, was there any opposition? Did anybody oppose the measure? Oh, some of these names keep popping up. There's a, there's a bogus car dealership. So I guess, uh, these are household names here. finance flag retirement how'd these guys make it in there must have been a mistake <laughs> Ah. He seemed a little bit apprehensive about yeah, saying yeah, who he was. It, 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 gets a, it gets a little nebulous sometimes, and I understand it. You know, sometimes the, the way that the system is set up is kind of lost on people. Yeah. Like, people forget that, you know, our tax dollars pay for these buildings and oh, for yeah, the employees. And, no, I don't think yeah, forget. They, I think it has to do more with just all the... We didn't used to be that way, but those yeah. things Oh, you're right, ways, I know. People you know? are, yeah. I mean, I've been here for a long time, so I sure, know sure. a lot of times have changed. Of course, of course. No, you're right. That's true. And we're kind of trying to bring it back to that, you know, honestly. And we understand that, you know, there have been events and whatnot, but instead of just becoming totally paranoid and just shutting down the public, yeah. we kind of want to start bringing that back again. Yeah, I think we have really open government. We have a website. Yeah. We post everything on our website. Yeah, no, that's good. I was noticing, though, and I don't know if this is a security thing also, but, like, I'm from a really big city, uh -huh. and all of the offices are open. You can just walk right in. Yeah. And it's not even, it's not really the safest place either. It's not. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of street people. Mm -hmm drugs, drug users, drug dealers, there's people that are, that are, sometimes they get released from their mental facilities, mm -hmm. and you don't really want them coming in, but they're all open. And I noticed here, all of these are we're like, close. they're all locked up, you have to push the button to get in. So I was like, hmm, I don't know, is that, is that good or is it bad? I mean, it's less welcoming, but at the same time, I guess, well, is it for security or is it yeah. for? It's for security. Okay. I mean, I think that the, that the employees will feel more secure, you know? I would. Like I said, I've been here a long time, but you yeah. start taking things for granted. You, sure, you've seen, you know? yeah. And I, I've seen it evolve to this. It sure, 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 sure. Way. Okay, okay, so, yeah. We, we did have open, all the doors were open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After 9-11, I was... So it's say, been that long, really, yeah. since you guys did well, not it? not immediately after 9-11, but... Uh, but since then is, is when things have started to go in that yeah, direction. I understand, I understand. I got you, I got you. Do you know what's so, upstairs? It's Town Hall. Town, which is, which is not in session right now. No. Okay, and it's just the it's just the physical space, or are there other offices up there? No, it's the physical space. So just town hall, that's yeah. it. Oh, okay. So that would be. Kind of, is there a way to see it? Like, am I able to see it? With... No, I think it's locked. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Do they have windows where I can like peek in with the camera? Does it have a light? Because uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think they have, I don't see. I don't even remember. Okay, okay. I might shoot up and take a quick peek, see if I can at least see it, because I don't know that I'll come back, honestly, to record anything else. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Welcome to I, I, Texas. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you very much. Uh -huh. All right, have a great day. Mark. Town Hall. Meeting is adjourned. All right, guys, well, there's that. Guess we'll move on to the Chamber of Commerce next. Hey, guys, I'm at the uh, regional headquarters for Department of Public Safety. I'm going to do an audit on the inside again like I did at the other place. See if headquarters understands the right to film in public. I don't know what that building is over there. I thought it was the same thing, but we'll find out here in a second. This looks like this is just a, a regular office. I'm not sure. Just 
This is like the employee uh, area back here where they get to smoke, I guess, for those who are severely addicted to, ca to uh, nicotine, almost a caffeine. Same thing, same addiction, different substance. No, not at the moment, thanks. Is there a reason you're filming? Sir? I don't need help, thanks. Try not to interfere with your business. No, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. Hi, sir. Um, could I oh, me again? Yeah. Yes. Hi. Could I ask you why you're taking pictures of our... You can facilities? ask. Now serving L4000 
Wow. My name is Anna Maria Hernandez. Hi, nice to meet you. Good. I was just curious on why are you recording our office? Yeah, you can be curious. So what's the reason? I don't really want to answer questions, thanks. And your name? That would be a question. And you don't want to answer a question? That'd be another question. Is that a no response? Excuse me. You guys shouldn't obstruct the door like that. People are trying to get in and out. Please don't record. You're in public, ma'am. You're also a public servant. So if you don't want to be on, on film, you should go find a job in the private sector where you don't deal with the public. Because there's no expectation of privacy in a public place like this. So you're in the wrong profession if you don't want to be on camera. There's cameras above us right now recording everything, so. Yeah, you're correct. Yeah, I know. That was actually me, sorry. Oh, that was you? Oh, okay. I just want to know if you guys do records requests here, if it's somewhere else. For me. For what? Public records requests. Public requests. Is that here or That's somewhere else? That would be somewhere else. Oh, okay. For DPS? For DPS, if you have any information, it would be next door. Oh, that the main headquarters it. building? Okay. Yeah. All right. Do they, have a, do they have a public lobby? I guess they Okay. Do. Thank you. At the top of my view, it's in the left, and it's up to the two-story building. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, this is just another ignorant uh, driver's license office. Next door is the headquarters, so that's where we're going to go next. Well, this vehicle's running, you guys. So they're burning gas. Hope it's not unlocked. I'm obviously not going to test it, but I hope it's not unlocked. Yeah, that vehicle's just sitting there running. Hope it's uh, hope it's locked at least. Cause geez, Louise. 
That'd be a pretty sweet ride to take home. You drive all the way back to Seattle in that thing, not worry about a darn thing. No tickets, never getting pulled over. Official business. I don't know how much the state of Washington likes the state of Texas, though, so highway patrol up there may not be too sweet on the idea of a, of a Texas trooper driving through its highways. But, uh, like I said, it'd be a pretty sweet ride. I think these things are pretty souped up. So we're going to see if we can request some records on the uh, young lady that came out and put her hand in front of my camera and told me to leave a public building despite the trooper telling me I didn't have to. She was insisting that I leave until I told her to go back to work. She melted from a snowflake back to a public servant. Old school highway patrol old motorcycle. That's pretty cool. Is this where you do records requests or no? Um, employee records. DPS. No, not here. Hmm, I was told it was here. I went next door. They said this is where I go. What kind of, like for all the employees for DPS? No, just one specific employee. What, uh, public information. You can call um, Sergeant Montango. Okay. So it's a person that does it? It's not like a department? No, you can call her. She's usually the one that deals with media. It's not about media. It's a records request. You guys don't do records. You, do you know what a records request is? Like, what's that? We do, but there's a process for it. No, I understand that. I mean, there's federal law that governs Freedom of Information Act requests, and then there's state law that governs like state state records requests, like where you want to get badge numbers and employee information, like salary and all that kind of stuff. What's that? There's a process where you can get that. Yeah. It's available to the public. Right. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to find out. They told me this is where I requested at. Is it, do they have like a business card or something? There's a, there's a patrol vehicle out there running, man. I hope it's not unlocked. That wouldn't be safe. Three hours later. seen an alien and I caught the uh, black guy whoever he was he didn't identify himself in there hitting on her obviously trying to get a date for tonight oh, that's why he literally flattened himself up against the wall out of the view of my camera as soon as I walked in so that was it guys found a couple snowflakes inside the uh, driver license office but uh, like cameras everywhere is telling me they're always gonna be a fail that's interesting how he knew that he's right it's true I guess they're just so used to treating people like cattle and having people just literally shaking in their boots when they go into the uh, Department of Transportation, uh, sorry, the uh, the motor vehicles to get their license that uh, it just really shocks them when someone doesn't fall down on their face and just, you know, do whatever they ask them to. So, well, say la vie. Curious if they called at the uh, DPS office, I'm curious. If so, I'd like to talk to the officer. I think it'd be fun. See what he has to say. I'll be back. Does this look like a jail? That's the Department of Public, Public Safety uh, Regional Headquarters. Man, what kind of stuff's going on in there? They've got total anonymity, total security, cameras all around. You have to have a card to get up the elevator. Woo! Get ready to hear the headlines about that one soon. 
Texas Department of Public Safety Regional Headquarters implicated in child kidnapping ring. They were keeping 40 to 50 kids up in their second level while selling them to, uh, to child traffickers. It's the kind of shit that we think up when you don't let us into our building. It's the kind of stuff we wonder about when you don't let us into our building and you don't want accountability. Why don't you come out and face me like a man instead of hiding behind the glass, behind the female at the counter like a little punk. Let her answer for herself. Gotta jump out from behind the safe bulletproof glass and there's a process, there's a process. What she's trying to tell you is that there's a process. Shut up. She come out of there and talk to me like a man. Identify yourself, coward.